all right welcome back we are going to show you i say we like it's more than me it's just me i'm going to show you how to take your storage shed to a working shop this shed right here is 10 feet by 12 feet and yeah this is going to be about the third time i've done it but i think i've come up with a little better system now if you all recall a while back i put these shelves up on the wall i got them on the wall behind us too and i loved it however once i got to looking at it and using a little bit of the tools and whatnot that's up there i don't like everything exposed at all so here's what we did so this right here you've all probably seen that before that was in my things that go boom room downstairs i no longer need it because things have changed downstairs and i might show you that in the future and i might not so this is the old cabinet i've brought out here i put some shelves in it got everything where it's supposed to be i got a couple more shelves to put in this one right here and then i can start taking stuff off the shelves in another video not this one we're going to be building something over here y'all recall we got some oil and gas stuff up there you know i like the oil and gas i got my garbage pail down there well this kind of looks out of place first things first we're gonna take this thing back to the 60s 50s let's go 50s all right we'll get you all an update of what's going on here a little bit of rain coming in didn't think y'all wanted to watch me clean i don't want to watch me clean so i showed you the cabinet right now we're going to put a little bit of paint on it's obvious it's the next day should tell you that uh this is like i said it's going to be going it seemed like a good idea at the time i know i do things four and five times before i get it right and hopefully this is getting it right but i've got a pretty cool idea going to go there but i have to make it be a complete other video because it's going to take some time again we, we want to make this a workable shop and the reason is is winter time's coming i do have heat for here uh the walls are insulated ceiling is not but i got some storage going on up there so i'm kind of okay with it do we do not do any welding in here we do not do any grinding of metal in here we don't do anything in here it's not because of all that but it's because of that yes that'd be the wood floors the other thing that we're going to have to do is we got to make a i want to say container we got to make an apparatus outside here next to the shed that's going to house all our fuel because i don't want it in here as you can see it takes up quite a bit of space on the floor and our goal here is to gain as much space as we can this needs to get a paint job simple as that so we're going to start this got to be done in phases because i got multiple colors going on there so bear with me let's get going the other thing that we're going to do in here is the lighting as you can see the lighting is horrible hang on That's a little. We are going to start off with some gloss white. And it is going to go right across the center, across here, and around the sides. Now, the Einstein that I am, I started looking at the sides over here. To get this side so it's easier. And the paint, the white's going to go all the way around the side and all the way up to here. Well, I need to get it right to the wall because I want to paint the side. It's on wheels. Move it out. Einstein here uh, screwed it to the wall so it ain't moving anywhere. It's all right. It'll work or it won't. Ain't nothing but the finest here. We went to the dollar store and got the best paint tray and roller combo that money could buy. We got it shook up real good. That's pretty white. And we're going painting. Let's we'll speed this up so you don't have to sit through it all.
obviously the next day and welcome back we got our coffee we got the heat on out here today i'll tell you a little more about that little heater in a second uh it's been two days yes two days since i've been able to work on this project here now it's as far as i've got now you've seen this this is coat number two but it finally dried it was so cold i mean not really cold but so cold that trim clad no trim clad didn't want to dry I had to go to Windsor yesterday I picked up a ceramic heater to warm this up so that it would dry so I could finally get the third coat on there and cover up all that black now today we're gonna to put the rest of the color on we're about to get started here hey you know the problem with making multi-day videos well, for me, anyways, is uh, I'm trying to remember what I said. Normally, when I make a video, normally when I make a video, I make it, I shoot that day, edit that night, and then I post it when I want to post it. This video is taking multiple days. I guess we're just gonna have to deal with. It. We got some tape. We're gonna have to mask off what we need to mask off. And we're gonna add some color. Now we're just going to do the same thing to the bottom. And we'll be all set. Alright, I got everything moved that I think I need to get moved to the other side of the shop. And I've got everything masked off. Now we're going to hit it with some orange. I like that orange. Alright, we got four lockers here. These two, top and bottom, are going to be done in orange. These two over here are going to be done in John Deere green. John Deere Green. I've had the heat on, the paint's been drying. Sounds like a party over that way. Got the heat on, paint's been drying. Let's have a look at what we got. Still smells like paint. Well, it's not the best job in the world. I got a little bit of runs going here and there, and you know, a little bit of green where it shouldn't be green. But all in all, I think it looks pretty good. The only thing left to do now is the decals. Let's get them on. So the Sinclair motor oil is obviously going to go on the John Deere green side. And the super test is going on the orange side. Or maybe should I just play with everybody and switch them around? But here's the dilemma I'm running into. These will fit 
squarely on one door panel. Ideally, I'd like them in the center, but then I've got to cut the decal so that the door is open and the door is closed. Could I do that? Yeah, I could. But a better chance of the decal peeling later on. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to put them right here in the center. And same with the orange one. It's going to go right here on this center. And they'll be side by each. I am no expert when it comes to this. Let's see how we make out. All right, so what I did was I once I peeled the backing off, I folded it in the middle, so that the middle touch, and took the top up, as you saw, and brought the bottom down. Am I gonna get air bubbles? Probably. Is it gonna work? We're about to find out. No, well, that did not work, folks. We got a few air bubbles. Now, uh, plenty of you fine folks out there that do this for a living probably just cringe. <clears throat> Note to everybody I don't do this for a living. But it all looks pretty good. Now, the super test. Hopefully they're going to be roughly the same height. Oh, bigger bubble right there. We'll get them out. There we go. All right. All right. Well, there we have it. Uh, these things are pretty even. I think this one's a little higher up than this one over here. Oh, no. It turned out pretty good. We got a couple small air bubbles. Nothing major. Except for that one right there. We'll just pretend we didn't see it. But if you can see that from the street, then you got no business being in my shop. So I got two decals for $17 off of Amazon. I got three quarts of paint. That was the most expensive. You want to buy paint here in Ontario? That trim clad is $34 a can. I, I kid you not. $34 for that small can of paint. But we needed it. So we bought it. And uh, here we are. We got a couple small mistakes. Like we got a little bit of green right there. That edge is not as crisp as it could be. You know. We got a little bit of orange here. The sides turned out okay. I got to put the hook back up there to hang my extension cord but other than that i think it turned out pretty good so for roughly roughly a hundred bucks because these were free we've got a new storage solution and that's the whole point of this video this is only gonna be part one 
phase one, part one, call it whatever you want, part one. Because we still have to do the lighting. We still have to do the roof. I got a special one for the roof. That's going to be pretty good because that's going to tie into something else. All right, now listen. This is a 10 by 12 shed, now a shop. Why is it now a shop? Because it's more personal. We're going to have more things hanging on the wall. And you can actually sit at the bench over there and build something or work on something. No, we're not going to drive the Silverado in here and change the oil. That we're still going to lay in the driveway out there in the cold and change oil, which reminds me that's uh, due this week. And it's getting cold. But nevertheless, that's got to be done out there. If you can take a part off the truck and you need to rebuild it, bring it inside here. You can sit here in the warmth and rebuild it. That's the whole idea. And make it more personable. I say that like I got people in here all day long. I got nobody in here all day long. It's just me. So that's why I want to make it the way I like it. I want to be happy with it. And that makes you want to be in here doing things. Does that make sense to you? But that's all we're going to do in today's video. It's just a storage solution and create some space. So like I said, all the tools are on shelves in there. We're off and running. We've got a couple of projects on the go on the bench over there. I get in the middle of something, like doing something like that. And then I just automatically go to something like this. But that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that for a few dollars. Couple of stickers, a little bit of elbow grease. We have a new place to put our tools. Stick around for phase two or part two because it's going to get a little more in depth and we're going to improve this orange look we got going around here. See you in the next one. Later.